Chris, what do you what, what do you do what do you do over there in Universal? Um, For the one person in the back that has no idea. Uh, my title is art director, um, but I'm like production designer, art director. So pretty much anything that well, it really encompasses a lot. Anything that you see visually, um, I am in pretty much in charge of designing it. Helping conceptualize. I work with another conceptual partner. You guys know John Murdy, you know, handles the Twitter. But, yeah. And him and I work well together. Um, so essentially, uh, you're going to see. Uh, Let's go few, to the next slide. Yeah, a few photos in respect to. I'll pretend. I'll pretend. There we yeah. go. So, La Llorona, you know, with uh, the myth of her and everything, I honestly don't even recall how the origin or how we came about looking at doing her, but. You know, to me, my big thing, and when I was a kid, is wanting to make monsters, actually. So, within this, I was really wanting to show, um, you know, what to me is a, just a big thing. What I really like. I like to try to take creativity and let it flow, and, and what we do, and how we formulate mazes and flows and such. But, you know, I'm a big guy on monsters and how to integrate them within character, so um, this performer, her legs would go inside much like a sleeping bag and rock back and forth as the La Llorona has come through the window as eating her. Fantastic. Good thing that we're calling this making monsters. It's a good thing. Okay. Um, one of my favorite mazes ever. You guys think so? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's take a look at the next slide. Yeah, I wanted to throw something 3D. We always try to do, we try to do some kind of 3D maze, and this is in Black Sabbath 13, so one of these is an actual performer. You know, that's a big thing to me, is actually to try to, if we're gonna do a camouflage gag, to hide them as best as we can, and to drive that 3D, which is, this is under UV reactive light and paint. Perfect. All right. Uh, American Well from London. Oh, yeah. It's, um, one of our seven wolves. We had four half wolves and three full wolves. So, this is in the alley sequence up on a couple crates. Wanted to get him up high and face level with you as you come through. And these were all positioned in such a way to try to startle scare you as you came through the curtains. So you could probably figure that out as you were going through. And this was done by Patrick McGee, um, and so was La Llorona, um, who's a really great effects artist and really has a tight concern for the aesthetic value. And I do as well. I'm trying to step things forward every year, so. You know, as you see what we work with him, um, we're trying to bring it to a really high level. I, I, I'm sure that I speak for some fans in the room here. Uh, American Werewolf was, in my opinion, the best maze I've ever seen in Halloween Horror Nights. It's really great. Really you guys should join that crowd. It's great. It's great. And I think now we have a, is it a video? Is that a video? There's one more, maybe, and then a... Oh, oh another one. There you go. And this is encompassing, this is kind of what we call Face of Your Family, encompassing all of my trades, which, you know, obviously the design, but also props, effects, and effects meaning like Pat McGee with the eggs and such, and also the face huggers and scenery and spray foam. And uh, you can see, even, you know, we're trying to send a tight little teeny message of two eggs open with the face huggers, and one is closed, and there is an open gap in the middle for you to have a seat. 